Right, so hopefully that was helpful to learn the soul. And if it was, please leave a like on this video for the algorithm. And also if you're interested in the settings and effects and everything used, you can find a link to that in the description. And as you probably noticed, I didn't provide a tab in this particular case. And the reason for that is that, you know, I started to <laughs> write a tab, but then it quickly got quite frustrating because you know the notes aren't that tricky to hear in this solo I think uh, and you know tabs are really good for showing what notes you play uh, but what makes this solo special I think is you know the feel and the groove and the rhythm and everything uh, and that got quite frustrating to try to convey through a tab so instead of the tab I thought I would go through the solo uh, slowly now and kind of explain a little bit on how I approach the solo and what you can learn from it. So let's do that now. All right, so I'm going to talk about the scale, play the whole solo slowly, and then elaborate on some aspects of the song. And the scale I used uh, was the G minor pentatonic scale. And the crucial kind of patterns for the solo is first this classic first pattern, you know. And then the two further down, so. And then you know further down we kind of have the same pattern but an octave lower so. Alright so here comes the solo slowly. So hopefully that was possible to follow and you know overall I think this is a really classic front to solo with some classic front to elements so the first thing you know is this bend here you know because if you listen closely at least what I can hear is that he kind of starts off by playing it kind of fast and then kind of slows down and then starts to play it faster again so you know that goes back to that interview from the past where he talked about you know his soloing style where he likes to stretch time you know slowing up and speeding down and things like that and I think this is a really good example of that and also like to talk about in an interview where he doesn't really feel like if he want to be you know super uh, on point and follow a strict pattern and so it feels like he's in prison or something but instead playing more freely and I think you can really hear that you know in for example this part where you know do, does this break so and then another break and then <laughs> you know we kind of do like that and I think also that's a really classic front thing to do to kind of you know play a lot with the rhythm and play a lot with silence which I think is a really effective tool to make it more expressive and also I think this particular bend you know <laughs> where it kind of bends and slides out is a really classic front thing especially when you use the wah pedal which I'm not using right now but that I did use in the beginning of this video you kind of really get a really front like feel to it you know <laughs> with the wah wah pedal. And then you know for this shred or repetitive part uh, I kind of struggled to do exactly like him and it's kind of hard to time in perfectly with his pattern but you know the main idea is to you know focus on these three notes. And then he can start off with a classic for trying to kind of shred so you know like that but then he kind of slows down and I found that before he does that repetitive part where he plays like that I feel like he does something like and then start with the pattern so. 
or something like that <laughs> but you can kind of experiment with that on your own but again it's kind of easy to play on your own but it's kind of hard for, at least for me to <laughs> time in with his playing so what my strategy was to you know kind of wait a little bit uh, and listen for this note and then kind of try to time in that uh, a little bit later in that segment of the solo. And then finally, a really classic front thing I think is, you know, not just getting stuck on the high notes, but, you know, play with the lower notes, you know. To, you know, get some more dynamic to the solo. All right, so that is the whole lesson. And finally, I'd just like to say that it's really fun that we get some new material to learn from. And it's also really exciting to know that there will be more new things in the future so yeah that will be really really cool to see and uh, yeah leave a comment on what you'd like to see next and i'll see you in the next one yeah.